So let's look at question number eight from the 2015 National 5 Physics paper. And it says that um, a student makes the following statements about different types of electromagnetic waves. So it says, first of all, light waves are transverse waves. The um, question is, which of these statements are correct? Well, I would say light waves are transverse waves. That is correct. The only type of wave that we know about which is different, a longitudinal wave, would be something like sound. Statement two, radio waves travel at 340 meters per second through air. Very easy to get caught out here, but 340 meters per second is the speed of sound in air, not the speed of radio waves. Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic wave and they travel at 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And so that one there is wrong. Statement 3. Ultraviolet waves have a longer wavelength than infrared. Well, we need to think carefully about this one. It's one of those ones where you could easily get wrong. So I'm just going to draw out three colors here of light. And we have the blue light at one end. Uh, we have the red light at the other end. And in the middle, we have green light. So these, this is the, the spectrum. I've missed out the, um, the yellows and the oranges and so on. Just simplifying it a little bit. So the red is the longest wavelength. And that has a wavelength of around 600 and, uh, or maybe 650, but I'll just say 600 nanometers. The blue has a wavelength um, of about 400 nanometers. And the green, somewhere in the middle, at about 500 nanometers. So the question is, where does ultraviolet and infrared fit into that? Well, if you think about it carefully, looking at the names, um, this is the blue, the violet would be a little bit beyond that, and so ultraviolet would be over here, uh, even beyond the violet. And infrared, well that's going to be on the other side of the red, and so we've got our infrared here. Remember that both infrared and ultraviolet are invisible to our eyes, and um, we can only see the visible spectrum, the reds through to the violets. And so what does that say? Well, that means that ultraviolet is going to have a really short wavelength and infrared will be a much longer wavelength. So the statement says ultraviolet waves have a longer wavelength. Well, that's simply not correct. So this one's wrong as well. So the only answer that is correct is part one. And so therefore, our answer has to be A.